loves, so today's video is going to be something totally different because I'm going to be able to express the reasons why I decided to choose this wig from RPG Show, how I've changed, and also read you one of Maya Angelou's infamous poems. It's very inspirational. You know, you can take a poem and you can just look at it in certain ways and you can just relate to it. So, the wig that I chose from RPG Show is a very, like, out the box color for me as you guys know um my journey here to arizona is kind of like out the box not really out the box but i'm a more enclosed secluded person and i normally just stick to like natural color wigs but lately i have become a little bit more adventurous when it comes to color and i've been wearing more colors like blondes and reds and that's for me is out the box it's different and my journey here to Arizona is like out the box and so I took a leap out of my comfort zone and out of where I was used to and where I knew everybody where I was known and I decided to leave and come to a place to a state where I was not known where I didn't know anyone I don't normally wear like blonde wigs and lately I have become a little bit more adventurous a little bit more courageous a little bit more different and a little bit just more not the ordinary basic April like I don't want to be noticed by everyone but I just want to be known I want to feel different I want to be happy I want to sometimes stand out I don't have to all the time but for me I just feel like it's time for me to just take a little leap out of the box so this is the reason why I chose this particular color this one is the Millie Ray hair 005 20 inches honey 200% density it's a lace front with six inches of parting I love long hair I just love to slay if I can I'm going to slay all day okay regardless of what you always have to take a leap of faith you always have to feel like listen I can do this I can do this and I felt that way after kind of like building myself up to come here to Arizona so this to me is like a leap of faith it's out the box and that's what I did and this is the reason why I chose this particular color and this particular style it just screams me and I absolutely love the color now blonde and I'm not scared to wear it anymore as I was before I was kind of like nervous and I felt like everybody was gonna look at me and just kind of be like why is she wearing that color but now I feel more courageous so that makes me feel definitely like a phenomenal woman okay pretty women wonder where my secret lies I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model size but when I start to tell them they think I'm telling lies I say it's in the reach of my arms the span of my hips the stride of my step the curl of my lips I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. I walk into a room just as cool as you please, and to a man, the fellows stand or fall down to their knees. Then they swarm around me, a hive of honeybees. I say, it's the fire in my eyes and the flash of my teeth, the swing in my waist and the joy in my feet. I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I try to show them, they say they still can't see. I say it's in the arch of my back, the sun of my smile, the ride of my breast, the grace of my style. I'm a woman, phenomenally phenomenal woman. That's me. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I say it's in the click of my heels, the bends of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need of my care, because I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman. That's me. Okay, love, so let's start with this tutorial. As you guys know, this is a lace front. You do get an elastic band from ear to ear. So if you want your wig to sit really flush and flat to your head, you can definitely sew on one of those. My stocking cap is cut at the top, so that way it does not slip around. This just makes your wig stay down much longer because the wig cap is not 
slip it around. As you guys see, I'm going to use my Sally Hansen's airbrush leg, and I'm just going to put that in a little dish and just use a beauty blender to put it onto my wig cap. I don't spray this inside of my wig because it just kind of gets messy. I actually have had these cans for over a year because I do use them on my legs in the summertime due to my varicose veins. So I decided to use it on my wig cap like I normally do. So let's go ahead and put this wig on. We are going to go ahead and use ourselves a brush just to get all the flyaways out of the way. You can always use some hairspray to get those flyaways tamed. And then we're going to also use a hair clip just to pull the hair back so that way we're not cutting any hair accidentally. I'm also going to go get one of my rat tail combs and I'm going to go ahead and just trim away the excess hair and lace so that way it does fit properly over my ear. Sometimes these wig caps or these wigs can be a little bit too long as opposed to the sideburns so if you want them to sit properly you will always need to just kind of like customize them and that is what I do so that way the wig just sits flat to my head. And I'm going to also do that on the opposite side and just cut away the excess lace and hair. Make sure that you're very careful so that way you don't cut extra hair or lace along with that you don't cut yourself. I always um, suggest using a small scissor, especially a curved scissor. You can get these at Walmart or your local craft store. And I'm just going to go opposed to buy, buy my hairline for this lace wig. I didn't pre-tweeze or pre-pluck it. It is slightly pre-plucked in the front. But RPG show wigs have come a long way and they're starting to look really, really more and more natural. So I really didn't have to customize too much. Now because I want a little bit of baby hair just in the front so that way it doesn't look like a blunt cut in the front. I'm just going to go ahead and make my own baby hairs using my rat tail cone. You don't need a lot. I'm not like a huge fan of baby hair so I kind of like minimize them as much as possible and I'm going to use a eyebrow trimmer to do that you can also use a pair of scissors, scissors or a razor comb but this is just as easy I prefer these opposed to scissors because scissors can get like a blunt cut so if you have a razor comb or some eyebrow trimmers definitely use those instead and I'm just going to go ahead and trim just a little bit I may not use all these baby hairs but just in case aunties and as you guys see the parting is about six inches of parting and it does look really natural the knots are concealed really well. You may need to customize it a little bit. I'm not going to say bleaching it. I will just use a little bit of my pressed powder or my liquid foundation or cream foundation just to make the scalp look more like scalpage, you know, like your own scalpage. So that's what I'll do later on in this tutorial. But for right now, I'm going to take my Dollar Tree Salon Selective Styling Mousse and I'm just going to go ahead and part me a part in this just to tame the hairs. I love that mousse. It's only a dollar. And for a dollar, make me holla. This is like some really amazing mousse, you know, instead of spending like $4 like I normally do, I have come very addicted to this from the Dollar Tree. So I suggest you guys, if you have a Dollar Tree in your neighborhood, definitely check out the Salon Selectives in the pink can. This one is amazing. I would not suggest getting the one in the black can, which is a different brand because it just gets really tacky and sticky. And trust me, you will not be happy with that. So just to tame some of the hair and get it to lie a little bit flatter, I'm going to use my hot comb, which be honest, I'm not like a huge fan of so I decided to go back to my mousse and just slick it down also my cool waist styling lotion which I absolutely love because it's very lightweight and it also helps with dry ends which this wig did have was a little bit of dry ends so just to moisten them up I'm going to go ahead and just style that on it's not heavy and it doesn't weigh your wig down so if you do come across it I would highly suggest you using it I decided to use my barrel curler just to uh, flatten the top and the hair just because it's just so much easier than that hot comb I think the hot comb is just too bulky the way the power button is at it's a very very bulky so I don't use it as much as you guys see here I'll use a little bit on the edges but I will go back and forth with my barrel curler which I think is like the easiest tool for me if you are interested in the hot comb you can definitely check out Walmart now once again back to that Dollar Tree styling mousse I'm just gonna go ahead and lay some on the edges because this is how I lay my lace wigs down when I'm wearing them for just a day or two you don't need any gel or glue or tape you can definitely use some really good styling mousse and just go ahead and slick your baby hairs down with that this is my sculpting brush what I call my sculpting brush which is just an ordinary toothbrush but I do use the styling mousse just to sculpt and mold the hairs down so that way I'm not applying like a whole bunch of gel which you will not see me use in this tutorial I haven't used gel on any of my wigs in a minute the only way I use gel is if I want to apply them for a few days to like a week then I'll definitely use the got to be clear gel but 
opposed to that, this will hold my wig down for like a day or two, along with the Pump It Up Super Hold Spray. Hunties, if you do this method, you will be fleek for a few days, and you definitely don't have to worry about residue or any type of mess on your lace front. The cleanup on this is like very minimal. I have worn a wig for two weeks, but just removing it daily and just applying it daily with my styling mousse and my hair spray. And the residue on the wig cap inner side is just like very minimal. So yeah, and I haven't cleaned the cap up yet. So I would suggest trying this method. Like I said, it does help. And I'm going to go ahead and put that styling mousse on the other side and sculpt it with one of my favorite brushes, which I call my sculpting brush. Now, as you guys see, I do put a little bit of sideburns down on the edges just because this will also help hold your wig in place and it also helps it give it a more natural look opposed to just being very blunt. And once I apply the heat from the curling barrel, it definitely will lay your wig down just because of the heat and the styling mousse and the hairspray. This will definitely lay your wig down and it will not move. If you want, you can always tie a scarf around it, which I normally do. I'll tie a scarf around it and then I'll apply the heat on top of the scarf so that way there's not too much heat penetrating on my scalp but for the sake of this video I'm just going to do it like that and I'm also going to use this wax stick just to lay those flyaways down because girl they can drive me crazy I love this hair the color is so pretty it's a very rich kind of like honey blonde you guys know I love like this honey blonde color now because I just do I just stepped out of the box and this is what I decided to wear I'm also going to use my Lancome um, translucent powder just to give my wig a little bit more scalpage, you know, make it look a little bit more natural, more closer to my own natural scalp. And that white, extra white residue right there, I will be wiping away with just like a wet cloth so that way you don't see like that chalky chunk of um, translucent powder. But I love this Lancome for my wigs because it works out perfect. It does a lot better than my pressed powder or any type of cream. So I have been using that a lot. And I'm just going to lay it down just a little bit with the back of the hot comb because I'm not really into this hot comb. Now, just to give it a little bit of curl in life, I'm going to go back into my Irresistible Me curling wand and use that. You guys know how I feel about this curling wand. Look at the curls, hunties. Very, very pretty. I'm loving it. RPG Show has come a long way, and I will say this. They have some amazing, pretty wigs, and I give them their props. They have been doing such great jobs on these wigs that you definitely have to check them out. So let me know what you think, you guys. Now you understand why my head's just not bowed. I don't shout or jump about. I have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. So I say, it's in the click of my heels and the bends of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need of my care. Cause I'm a woman, phenomenally phenomenal woman. That's me. This color was definitely out the box for me and I was too scared to wear this. But now that I feel good about myself and everything is coming together, I think like I could wear any color that I want and I'll still be me. Phenomenally. Phenomenal woman. That's me.